Okay, what is up there, YouTube? This is J Man Time, and today I have another rare World War II weapon for you all today. And today's weapon is the Bell Six Barreled Bazooka Series or prototype from 1945. Yes, the Bell Telephone Company actually came up with a prototype six barreled anti tank bazooka platform fitted to a four legged tripod or quad pod and was designed towards the very end of World War II. Now, this weapon system or this prototype was actually based on a limited production or improvised series of four to six barrel bazookas used by some American anti tank units during both the war in Europe and during the battles of the Pacific. And these were pretty much just a bunch of bazooka barrels that were welded together onto a tripod and were usually mounted on the back of a Jeep or, in some cases, on some of the light or heavy armored fighting vehicles like half tracks or some of the light tanks. So the Bell Telephone Company pretty much took that concept and produced a professionally made six barreled rocket launcher or anti-tank rocket launcher. Now, unfortunately, this weapon system was never taken seriously. By the time that the prototype was finished, the war in the Pacific was almost over. So by the time the prototype was finished, the war was pretty much already over. But the Bell Telephone Company did at least try to market a six barreled anti-tank rocket launcher system to the U.S. Army during the very end of World War II. It is unknown what happened to this prototype. It is most likely lost to history and is one of the rare prototype anti-tank weapons designed by the U.S. forces during the Second World War. Now the weapon is chambered for either the standard 60 millimeter sheep charge warhead or the later 90 millimeter warhead used in the Super Bazooka series produced produced towards the very end of World War II. Its maximum firing range is listed as between 200 and 400 yards, but the Bazooka series as a whole had a kill range of 1,200 yards maximum and an armor penetration upwards to 280 millimeters, 100 millimeters for the 60 millimeter version and this prototype weapon was submitted in late 1945 towards the very end of the war in the Pacific and by the time this prototype was finished the war was pretty much over and that's pretty much it so what do you all think please tell me in the comment section below and until next time this was J-Man Time signing off